In the late 1950s, the newly formed Pilgrim Congregational Church of Redding, California, asked Frank Lloyd Wright to design an inspiring new house of worship. They had already fielded and turned down proposals from eight other architects. Wright was moved by the mission statement they sent him and directed his staff to tell the people of the little church that I will help them out. When presenting his drawings, he told them, your faith has emotion in it, and so does your building. Final revisions of the drawings were completed only days before Wright's death in April of 1959. Mr. Wright called this a full and bolder Gothic design. The roof is a very unusual design in that it is supported from the bent sections from above. The roof was actually built before the interior walls. It was rather an odd appearance of seeing this roof swinging from little pipes before there were any walls in the building. These suspending frames, known as bents, are steel-reinforced concrete and were cast on site. Wright aligned them with snow-covered Mount Shasta, the region's most prominent feature. The bents pass from outside to inside and back to outside as they arch over the building. This is typical of his designs that he likes to bring the outside right into the church and project the inside of the church outward. The roof itself is meant to look like the interior of a tent, which kind of represents the faith of the Israelites going down into a tent to worship. The floor plan of the church is based on the equilateral triangle, and you can see that inscribed on the flooring in the church. The uh, triangle motif is demonstrated uh, in many different ways, in many different places. Local contractors were wary of bidding on such an unusual structure. Only one even submitted a bid, and it was way too high for the small congregation to afford. We organized work parties. And the work was not only done by the men, but the women and children of the church also found things that they could do. And eventually we found that we were bending rebar and tying rebar and helping pour concrete. Members of the church uh, placed most of the rocks into the forms, wired them in. Many times we used newspapers stuffed in around the edges to keep the cement from obscuring the beauty of the rock. In some remote corners of the building, vintage 1960s newspapers can still be seen protruding from the rocks. Remaining members of this church uh, look back on that as one of their most fond memories, as working on the church and bringing it up from the ground by themselves. And Pilgrim Church is very much a work in progress, a long-term work in progress. Actually, the completed section is only one wing of a much larger design, as shown in this 3D model, recently completed by Taliesin Architects. This is just a small part of the sanctuary is immense by comparison. I think maybe we were just a little optimistic as to when we could build the entire building. Mr. Wright was a, a pretty eccentric guy, but he uh, certainly knew how to get the feeling of the congregation. And I think that may be what struck the members of this church, is that it was a design that, that really symbolized the, the faith that we have. I think that people who come to this church have a sense of pride as well, in knowing that uh, this is one of very few houses of worship uh, designed by Mr. Wright. The building is really an inspiration for that faith. In the future, we hope to uh, build the rest of the church. It is my belief that someday that will happen. Many of the big cathedrals and churches of Europe were not built in a day, more like several hundred years. We have that time frame in mind. 
If we don't get it done, the people who come to this church subsequently will continue with this work.